married another day another dollar baby on this beautiful Tuesday they say it's Tuesday here it is breakfast time early morning 10 a.m. 9 a.m. and somewhere around that time did you eat breakfast today I stopped by the Bojangles today got me a nice nifty sausage egg and cheese biscuit that's all I oh, had a sweet tea. I wanted some sweet tea, something to, you know, drink it down with since I ran out of water over here in my little nifty refrigerator. I gotta go and buy some water. I didn't expect to be out here this many days. You know, I didn't, I'm going on two weeks out here, man. I was, you know, when I first started, it was only a week. We turned to two weeks, you know. Looks like they're gonna keep me all the way to, uh, to the end of this week. And then I take another break and, you know, uh, they're going decide from now, you know, what else they'd like to do. Uh, one thing I will say is Oakley, they didn't show back up. Um, I guess the driver that I had seen, I'm assuming that guy had already got loaded or he was already booked on that load before whoever it was over at Oakley, you know, damaged the silo. But yeah, ever since I told y'all, that was the only guy I ever seen. So, uh, actually, another carrier ended up showing up, and I guess they are um, Oakley's replacement, So, which is the carrier beside me called VMC. Never heard of them. They got all four-part trailers. So, uh, oh, oh, I forgot to get this on my head. Baby, what's going on today? Whew. Are you making money in trucking? It's trucking difficult for you. Are you ready to throw in the keys? It's TQL putting a foot in your ass. Don't feel bad if they are. I got back from TQL like two months ago. If y'all don't remember, yeah, yeah. TQL. I'm the first truck driver to get back. A whole carrier, a whole motor carrier, back from TQL. Yep, so I got experience on what it's like to get back from TQL. Now, does TQL, you know, uh, help my business out a lot? Absolutely not. You know, they don't help my business out a lot, but some of the drivers that work with me, they like using TQL. You know, uh, I think TQL, it just depends on what area you are, whatever, what area you're working in when you're using the DAT load board. Uh, TQL don't necessarily pop out, pop up too much near the Nashville, Tennessee area, but you may be down in Texas and TQL is all over the place. You may be down in Florida, there ain't no TQL. So, you know, depending on where y'all, depends on who got to work. But uh, I don't do much drive-in freight. I don't got no drive-in. Uh, TQL is just some power-only work, you know. But, uh, yep, got a whole carrier bed. I don't remember why we had a driver get to argue on one of the account executives over there. You know, and, uh, huh, you know, I called TQL to book a load. They told me, ah, man, now nah, we can't work with this, with this MC number nine. You say, you say you've been bad. Yeah, that's, that's how they But enough of TQL. I told about no TQL in this damn video. Drivers? What I want to talk about is the truck driver that you guys told me about. That's right. That's who I want to talk. I want to talk about Trucker Jim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah, yeah. the one y'all told me that's doing insurance. That's who I want to talk about because I went and looked at his channel recently. Last night. I didn't have nothing better to do. I said, man, let me go and see. Because this dude ain't put out a video in months. So I go on Trucker Jim channel. I ain't seen no recent videos. You know, not pre-recorded. I clicked on the live session of his uh, channel, and I saw he did a video three days ago live. He did a live feed three days ago. Uh huh. Cause I was, I was wondering. You know, uh, he was in between doing trucking and insurance adjuster. Uh, when I first, when y'all first told me about him, he was brand new to insurance adjuster, which wasn't nothing but a couple of months ago. So I was wondering, well, did he? Go back to trucking because the money wasn't right in insurance, or is he still doing insurance? So he done a video, live feed video three days ago. I went, clicked it, watched it from beginning to end. 
okay? So uh, this is what I gather from it, okay? Now you can go and watch the live feed for yourself, you know? Or perhaps I can find a way to put it in this video because if I, y'all ain't gonna go watch it, so I'll probably just find a way to put it in this video. I'll put it in the description box too if you wanna see the full video. Shout out to Trucker Jim, but uh, I click the live feed. And uh, this is what Trucker Jim said. This is his words, this ain't mine. And Trucker Jim is white, he ain't black. He white. And he up there in Colorado right now, he said a hailstorm came through up there, done some damage, so he went up there for the last, uh, for the last 30 days, you know, and uh, he had a goal to set. He had a money goal. His money goal was to make uh, $30,000 in 30 days on W-2. Oh. Okay. Okay. That was his goal. That's the goal he set. And uh, he's actually about to pack up and leave because he's on his, he's about to do his last claim up there. He's at the end of his 30 days and he said, well, he hit his goal. He didn't make the $30,000 in 30 days. Averaging about a thousand dollars a day. Yep, just doing hill claims up there. In, uh, I think he said in uh, he ain't in Denver. He in Aurora, Colorado. I think is what he said. It's like fifteen minutes from Denver. But yep, and he is. Uh, he's brand new. He just started insurance adjusting, and. Uh, Yeah, 40C? Yeah, yeah, I, I have to, oh, well, yeah. Yeah, all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. As you can see, we're running a real nifty operation right now. Another thousand dollars in the pocket. Just unloaded at 5 a.m. this morning. That was a thousand dollars. Oh, oh, that's the EOD device. That was a thousand dollars to get reloaded. Just a thousand. I'm gonna deliver this. Come back for another thousand. Don't be counting my goddamn pockets either, truck driver. Now I'm telling you about Trucker Jim. We count Trucker Jim pockets right now. He the one that said he made thirty thousand dollars on W two. No, not ten, not twelve, not fourteen. He made more than all truck drivers that uh, don't have a motor carrier. Okay. Make more than me too, because I ain't hit 30,000, not this much, not in the last 30 days, I ain't. Then again, I ain't worked like that. Now, if I work this 30 straight days, he ain't gonna come close. I'm gonna hit 50 cents, but anyways. About to get loaded, baby. Now, I want you to know some difference. Matter of fact, I'll put the, I'll put the link in the description box, because be too hard for me to edit his video then I might get a copyright strike too but I made sure y'all can see the video now so if you can't see it his channel is Trucker Jim just put it up in YouTube and if you can't find it that way it's in the description box of this video so that's two ways you can go find it live for you if you don't see it in the description box I'm appearing in the comments so you can still see it in the comments section got that out of the way, like I was saying. Now that's just doing hell claims, okay? Hell claims, you know, hell fall from the sky, hit the roof, you know, he doing roof inspections. $30,000, okay? What I'm getting at is, in Hawaii, they're not doing no damn hell claim inspections, not in Hawaii. They're doing total loss inspections. I want you to understand the difference and the amount of money you can make, okay? That's all I'm just trying to get you to get your minds wondering. When you guys is uh, thinking about, you know, learning a new skill outside of trucking, okay? Just get your minds wondering. Now, I may be here 
Now, I told y'all I may be here in the Texas, but I may actually be heading down to Georgia. Um, I don't remember the dates. Uh, can't remember the dates, man. So much, so much things to do outside of this trucking industry. So many things to do. Guess what though? There's nothing wrong with working a company job and being a truck driver. Uh, like I told y'all, I would be a company driver making 2500 a week if I didn't have no aspirations to do things outside of trucking. If I just only wanted to drive a truck like when I first came into trucking back in 2015, uh, yeah, that's all I want to do, drive the truck. I didn't know there was anything else out there. But now that I became a motor carrier, and I done met a whole ton of people all different industries, you know, or insurance, airlines, trucking. And I'm hearing about the bunnies, hearing about the bunnies, and I'm seeing to do what Trucker GM is doing only costs $300. That's, that's all it costs to get the license. $300, baby, to become a, a licensed insurance. Nah, see, that, I'm lying. Let, let me, no, no, let, I'm lying. It's, it is $300, but I'm lying, okay? It's $300 to get your first license in one state. Yeah, put it like that. So when I got my Florida license, that was $300. But to get every other state out there, it's gonna cost more than that, you know? So, let me put it that way, baby. And to start off, it's 300. But you're gonna need multiple licenses for every state, so it's gonna add up. It's gonna add up. Uh, next, to make that 30,000, uh, you got to take your ass to wherever state you got to go. He up there in Denver, Colorado, look like he had a pickup truck and an RV. If you ain't got no pickup truck and an RV, then uh, you got to get you a hotel. If you can't get a hotel, uh, the next thing you can do, like Andrew, uh, you can buy a tail. Yeah, you can take the decals off the truck, put knife for hire. You can, you can. And uh, you can stay in the truck at the truck stop, baby. Okay. But if you ain't got all that, because you don't want to own nothing. Good sec. Right, Hold the task in my day.
I can't see him at all. Fucking rocket science, like what the fuck? I'm like, dude, every time, every time he the one that's the loader, 
he be like, man, scoot over to the left. I be like, bro, I'm under the shoe. Like, you can't fucking see it. It's all good, bro. Making my job more difficult than it already is. Making me sweat this morning. Shit. What's wrong with these loaders? Hey, yo. Forever start this shit. That's why the fuck I hit the flat tire yesterday. Fuck it, we're here. Constantly going back and forth over this goddamn railroad track. Blew my goddamn tire. Fuck it, we're here. Shit. What the hell are I telling y'all about? Uh, yeah, trucking with Jim. Go check him out. I lost my train of thought. Y'all go, go, go check him out. Hey, what do you want now? God damn. <laughs> 